use Photoshop to create a face map and to take a look at what we're going to be creating here. Um, we will open up our folder, and I believe that's in my download section here. And yeah, here it is. So we'll at least preview here so you can see it uh, fairly easy. But if we look at these maps here, this is essentially what we're going to create. Alright, got some funky stuff behind that one, but that's fine. Uh, and here's another version, and then another version for the bump map itself to create that texture. And essentially what we're going to use is uh, a front, side, back, and a three-quarter view of our face uh, to do that. And we're going to use that in Photoshop. Uh, what you can do, and what I like to do is, um, after I've shot, shot these, I actually like to open these up, if I'm on a Mac anyway, in Preview because it's a real easy way. Of course you can do this in Photoshop too, but if you have a back, back background back here, uh, when you go to do um, editing, uh, you can actually use like the Instant Alpha or the Smart Lasso. Uh, Instant Alpha is really nice because you can really select things very quickly, delete it, and then I save these out as uh, ping files. Okay, So I just do an export and save as ping. And whatever image you want to call it, side or whatever, doesn't really matter. So, side view. Right. So, I've already done that for this tutorial, so you don't have to wait and watch me do all of that. And I'm going to choose my files now to open up in Photoshop. Uh, I have a back, which I'd like. Um, I have a side, a three uh, front face, and a three quarter. Again, you only need uh, one side here because you're going to flip this over and mirror it should work fine. If you want more realism, you might want to do both, um, so you have a little bit more unevenness, which would be more natural, I believe. Um, anyway, we're going to open this up, so I right-click, open with, and Photoshop. You could use Elements or whatever other editing program you'd like um, out there. And it's going to open all of these up for us in Photoshop. And if you, it probably will open up more in layers like this, so if you want, you just drag that little folder out there. And essentially, we're just going to stack these. So I'm going to bring hit V on my keyboard, and that gives me my selection tool there. I'm just going to start dragging these out, and I can just close that one out. Three-quarter view, bring it over, close it out, and the side view. All right, we're good to go. Uh, so essentially what we're going to do is create one side, and then we're just going to mirror it over to the other side. So let's get our layers kind of cleaned up here first, and turn off the back, move it towards the top, uh, your front view is what you want to start with, obviously. Um, your three-quarter view, your side view here, and then your back view. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that one off also. And we're going to go with the three-quarter view. We'll have to do some scaling here and a little bit with the coloring, uh, not too much here. Uh, the other thing that you want to do is set your canvas size a little bit wider. <coughs> and I go... Um, I like to use pixels here because it's a little bit easier for me to understand. Um, in terms of pixels, you can think of what screen would be, but I generally go 1 to 2 on this. So on my width, I'm going to go, um, let's see, 2048 by 1024. Right. And let's see how that clips that out. Awesome. Uh, we didn't lose any of our head there. So make sure that uh, when you are doing this that your pictures aren't larger pixel-wise than your your actual canvas. All right, so I'm going to move this over here, and what I'm going to do is try to line up this part of the eye with this part of the eye first, and probably to do that I need to transform, so Command T on my keyboard. Oops, I want to scale this in a direction that's even, so I'll hold down my Shift key there, and it should allow me to do that pretty even. Look at that beautiful picture. All right. So one thing you can do also is that picture that you're moving, turn down the opacity a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see how it's lining up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, that looks pretty darn good for what we're wanting to do here. And hit return. Increase the opacity just a little bit here so I can see where I'm at. Pull this head back just a hair. So that it's lined up there. Um, everything looks.
looks pretty good here. I'm going to move. Really shift key to select. I'm going to kind of move everything down just a bit. I'm losing the top of my head there. There we go. Alright. Um, good. There we go. So I'm going to select this head. And again, you got to make sure that you have it where it's going to work best for you. In this case, I think I'm pretty good here. Yeah, so that pupil kind of meets up with that pupil. So that's good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and increase the opacity here with this one. And now we're going to use the eraser tool. I'll take the eraser tool and make sure I've got kind of a soft selection here. And use whatever size that you think will work the best for it. It's pretty darn small for what we want there. So that's pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and erase out this head here, increase your opacity there too. There we go. Essentially I'm going to go ahead and start blending this. And I stop every once in a while here. To make sure that I'm not going outside the boundaries. Oops. A little close there on the side. We don't want that. We can use the uh, clone uh, tool later on if we need to kind of clean some of this up. Uh, if you look at the color here, it's a little bit redder than the color here, so I'm going to go up here to where it says um, adjustments. I'm going to hue saturation, and I'm just going to bring down the saturation of this layer just a bit. Again, if I need to V on my keyboard, um, I could move this back or in just a little bit more. And you just kind of have to gauge what's going to work best for you. With that. All these refinements are something uh, that I won't go into. In this demo here. Uh, so let's just bring down the saturation of this just a little bit more, too. There we go. So, again, I'll do some cloning. I'm not going to do that right, right now, but I'll do some cloning later to kind of clean up some of these areas uh, right in here and in here, uh, obviously, where the eyebrow is. Alright, so we're going to go with the next layer here, and we'll go ahead and turn it on, leave on the layer beneath it, and you're going to move it back, and again, we're going to do the same thing here, except we're going to line the ears up here pretty well, and we're going to use the transform tool, hold down shift key to scale it even. And the higher resolution you have, the more uh, detail you're going to get in your texture. So if it's going to be, your 3D character is going to be from far away quite often, uh, you probably don't have to worry about it too much. Um, we still don't have our mouth and our eyes lining up here or our chin, so we want to scale this a little bit more, even though our ear looks a little bit better. pretty good for us. We're going to go ahead and set that, turn the opacity back up, and eraser tool again. Erase this out. 
again, every once in a while, let off your key there so you can kind of make sure that you're setting your area. And the same thing as we had before here, we're going to, to um, turn down the hue of this just a bit. So adjustments, hue saturation, turn that saturation down a little bit for that. I like to keep these hair textures here because they will translate uh, to the higher quality. Is the more cloning you do, the more it starts to muddy that stuff up. So you have to kind of make that decision. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and keep that ear just like that. And keep everything else. Looks pretty darn good. Whoops. Nice. Alright, so the back. This is the worst picture that I have here, so it's not going to look near as well, uh, good as the other ones. Um, trying to take these yourself kind of gets a little bit difficult with what you're doing. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and extend this one out in the middle here, and in command T. And the resolution on this one's pretty crappy also. Hold down shift key. Alright, so if we go into this, we're going to hit um, return and set that, and then the hue on this one, it'll have to do quite a bit of adjustments with that. So if we go here to hue saturation, I'm going to bring that saturation down a bit, and again, the color, this is where we're going to really have to kind of finagle this, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time during this tutorial doing that. I'm just going to clean it up a bit. Click auto tone, you can see it's going to turn it green, so we don't want that. Um, auto color, nope. And we're just going to take levels, bring them up a bit. Put it on the red channel here. Not bad. Okay, we're going to leave it at that, and we're just going to do some erasing here, um, just like before.